Oh, see the mouse in there? This is a pilon of tobacco. Okay, after the tobacco comes out of the curing barn, it comes here for fermentation. They put some moisture in on the tobacco, some water, and then they stack it in this pilon. It's like two pallets wide. This one's about four and a half feet tall. Okay, with the weight of the tobacco and the moisture, it creates like a compost heap. All right, well, what's happening is this pile of tobacco is heating up from the inside. As it heats up from the inside, it releases all the impurities out of the tobacco. Potassium, magnesium, boron, nitrogen that it picks up from the soil and the fertilizers. So that smell in the air, everybody smell that? That's ammonia, okay? The byproduct of fermentation is ammonia. We want to be able to smoke this cigar down to our fingertips without it being harsh or bitter, okay? The only way to do that is through fermentation. Well, Rocky has a two fermentation process. First fermentation, 18 months to 36 months, and a second fermentation for an additional 18 months to 36 months, okay? Because he wants the best of the best tobacco. So if you pick this up, this is a hand of tobacco. There's 24 leaves. Okay? The same that we saw over there. Yeah, but there they tie two leaves together. From there, they tie it into 24 leaves, into a hand of tobacco. So if you look at this, okay, that's beautiful tobacco. Good color, even color. This is going to be used for wrapper, okay? Here, you can pass that around. In the middle, I'm going to show you thermometer. They take a temperature every day. They're taking a temperature reading of the tobacco. Here, smell. Mm. Smell that. Uh, I'm not sure. Looks a little dark to be Connecticut. It's 